welcome to this new video this video is regarding how to get ytd without using the functions date ytd and total ytd in power bi so you, you know that we will be getting the ytd using dates ytd and total ytd and both the time intelligence functions and the problem is when we are using direct query mode you can't use any time intelligence function so at that point of the time how we are going to get the ytd we can achieve this thing by using the filter function so in this table we can see this is the values which we are getting using dates ytd and this is the values which we are not using dates ytd but still we achieved that values so how we did this is first you need to get the selected value the, the current year that means okay the current year is 2017 means okay with respect to this context we need to get the current that means you can just get the selected value selected value of the year you can get the next one is that with respect to that year you need to create a date that will be the first day the date of course you can use the first month as one and first day as one so you can create a date like that there is a minimum date and the maximum date of course you can get the max of that year and then we all these things you can get it in the in three variables and then you need to clear all the filters from the calendar table that means okay you can use calculate function and you can use all to the filter calendar table and then you need to filter the dates with respect to this selected year and max and minimum year so you need to write it in a way that the date should be greater than or equal to the first day of the selected year the first day which we have taken this date and it should be less than or equal to max of the selected year so it be greater than Jan January this day and it should be less than this day, December. So we will see the example with respect to this and we have already created a function using dates ytd. So this is using dates ytd calculate sum of orders dates ytd calendar ordered and we are going to take the metrics table and in this table we will be selecting the calendar. We will take out the quarter and date and then we will be selecting the sales. So you can see the sales with respect to the months. Now we will be using the dates ytd also. So with respect to using dates ytd you are getting you are increasing the sales with respect to all the months and finally it will end up in december and then once again it will start from the next year january until next year november or december so in this way it should go that is dates ytd now we will or we will create a measure by which without using dates ytd we are going to achieve this column so we will be creating the new measure so we will write it as without dates ytd equals to so we will create a variable first variable and we'll get the selected year selected year Year equals to selected value we need to get this value which year with respect to the year only we can get the minimum and maximum so we need to get this that is order date dot year that is a selected year now we need to get the first day of this so variable of first day equals to need to create a date date function and the year should be this year selected year selected year and month and day we can give it as one itself the last day will be the max of the date so you can write it as max of calendar day now we need to use all these variables in calendar in calculate function so you can return and you can use the calculate function calculate sum of sales and you can use the filter function filter it take away all the filters from calendar table and then you need to show the filter operations calendar order date should be greater than or equal to first day and calendar order date should be less than equals to last day so this filter is from here to here to all the years so we will try and see can use without using dates and you can now you can see we got the exact same value as dates wait we can write a bigger function with using e scope also through so lots of different ways we can find this dates by today without using the function time intelligence so this is one of the way hope it was an interesting video have a nice day